Oh, they're so good. It's good? Nicola, you have ruined me. I will never be able to buy <laughs> this in the shop again. <laughs> My name is Nicola. I'm a chef here at the Gamle Homelbeck Co. My name is Liesel. I work at Mursk. And today we're going to cook a traditional Danish Christmas dinner. Yeah, we're going to. It's going to be the roasted duck with all the trimmings. We both have white and brown potatoes. We have the red cabbage, which is a, a sour cabbage. And then we're going to prepare some pickled cucumber and, of course, the gravy. So now we're going to cut some apples. And maybe you can tell me a little bit who you are. Sure. So my team and I are basically working with understanding our customers and mm -hmm. what they need so that they can easily come to our website or to our app and uh, basically book their services with us. Yeah. We're going to mix the apples and the prunes together and stuff the duck uh, so we get a nice uh, sweet flavor inside the duck. So I'm a South African and I moved to Denmark to work for the company. Yeah. But uh, I'm also very interested in the Danish uh, traditions. Yeah, okay. So, could you tell me a little bit more about uh, this particular dish? Is this classic? Uh, are there it, variations on the classics? The duck is a classic dish, but the pork roast, it goes further back than the duck. Okay. And it actually started in the Middle Age. We were eating the pork roast like a party meal to invite all the friends because it was very rare to eat a lot of meat at that time. Right. Later, the, the, the goose was there, uh, but it was for the richer people. And then the, the poor people started to eat duck and we call it the, the poor man's goose. Okay. You mentioned that you came from South Africa and how is the traditionals in South Africa for the Christmas holidays? I think it's a little bit different. It's it different. It, what's the same is that it's a time of holidays mm. uh, and you're spending a lot of time with your family mm. and you're relaxing, except you're relaxing next to the pool, mm. probably with a cold drink, not <laughs> a hot drink. <laughs> not a, a gluck, no. like they say in Danish. Exactly. No. So, now we are ready to stuff the duck. Is there like a method you can recommend or I just go for it? You just go for it. Okay. You are we going to stitch it or how will we close it? No, we're just going to close it uh -huh. up with the skin. You know, I work with containers, normally you would not get it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the same though, we closed it on. <laughs> <laughs> now it's stuffed and everything. And when it's all seasoned with a lot of salt and pepper, we're going to put it in the oven, 170 degrees, for approximately one and a half hour. Now we're going to prepare our potatoes, traditional uh, potatoes. In Denmark, we eat a lot of potatoes. Exactly. Um, talking about traditions, you work in an old company uh, like Mask with a lot of history and strong values. Yeah. How do you keep uh, relevant in the new world? It's a really interesting question. Uh, actually, the values is what uh, attracts me to the company and mm. keeps me at the company. Okay. And there's one specific value called constant care which I think a little bit of as my safety blanket. Oh, okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, it asks me to prepare for tomorrow mm -hmm. while taking care of today. And what this helps me to do in my job is actually to think about how can we use our ships and, and everything we have, but at the same time, understand what kind of technology can really empower our customers. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to compromise. You no. can, you know, use your legacy and empower your customers through technology. So how has this journey been for you working for Mask with all this development? It's been really interesting, really fun. Uh, speaking of fun, many of my friends make fun of me because I'm a <laughs> lifer. Uh, yeah. It's very old school to work for the same company your entire life. Yeah. But what feels different to me is that even though every day I go to work technically for the same company, it keeps changing okay. and it keeps asking me to change. Speaking about the development, we got to get these potatoes going. Yes. So I'm going to grab some uh, white sugar, normal white sugar. Sugar, okay. I have a pan ready. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for the brown potatoes we're going to make now. So it's very important that we're going to spread the sugar all over the pan. So That's, that's a lot of sugar. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar. Okay. I've never seen these potatoes being made in real life. It's not hard to make, but you have to be very precaution. So you put it on a low heat okay. for beginning and you wait until the sugar, sugar starts melting. You are not allowed to stir in it or touch it until the sugar starts melting. And there's no fat in here? Uh, we're going to add butter okay, okay. when it starts melting. Okay. So now we're just going to leave it. Soon we're going to see the sugar turn brown nice. and fluid. Uh -huh. uh, so now we're going to go on with our red cabbage 
and of course the gravy, very important. Okay. Chop it into. Can I feel it? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's actually oh, rather heavy. heavy. Yeah, you get a lot out of one cabbage. I can imagine. Yeah. So basically, uh, you chop it in yeah. a nice uh, fine pieces. Yeah. And you add vinegar, as we have here, normal vinegar. Not all of that? No, not all of it. Okay. So one to one is one liter of uh, vinegar or to one uh, kilo of sugar. And then we add all our Christmas uh, spices like cinnamon. Yeah. And we have uh, the star anise again. Mm -hmm. And the bay leaves. And some uh, slices of orange while we cook it. So sugar. Oh. Are we good? Yeah, we are good. We just give it a little twist here. Okay. Uh, orange, good hint. Put it in your red cabbage. You can slice it in boats or in uh, in slices, you don't have to peel it. You put it in while you are boiling the red cabbage. Oh, okay. And when you take the red cabbage off, you take it out. Otherwise, oh, okay. it gets a little bitter from mm, the shell. Mm. Uh, another traditional Danish thing is to eat some all, also some other sour stuff. Okay. Uh, today we are choosing a uh, pickled cucumber. Nice. Same actually at the red cabbage, one to one with vinegar and sugar. Okay. Same spices. Except from the, the red cabbage, we are cooking in the pot okay. with the vinegar. With the cucumber, we are slicing the cucumbers yeah. and pouring the hot vinegar on top of the cucumbers after and let it settle for a couple of days in the fridge. Okay. I actually prepared some here for you yesterday. Oh, so I can try it already now? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. All right. How do you like oh, it? Oh, they're so good. It's good? Nicola, you have ruined me. I will never be able to buy <laughs> this sorry. in the shop again. I thought I was going to learn something today and I think the overwhelming theme so far is sugar. It's sugar, yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on the sugar. Speaking of, Speaking of sugar. <laughs> and this is just one day of pickling? This is one day of pickling, yeah. I prepared this. Very yesterday. nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yo, yo, okay. I talk too much. I'm sorry, Nicola. <laughs> Are we in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it time for the butter? Uh, almost time for the butter. So how do you ensure that you deliver a meal with quality when there are people in the, in the lounge waiting for their food yeah. and everything's <laughs> going on? It's a, it's a tough task. Uh, it has to be spot on every time. Right. And of course, it's, it's a lot about the preparation. Right. It's like a chain reaction. It is not prepared properly. That really feels like my life. In the office. <laughs> now we're going to add the butter. We add it in the middle of the sugar here. Oh. I have the potatoes here. Mm -hmm. They are already cooked and okay. peeled. And we're just gonna pour it all in. It's gonna simmer for a bit. We're gonna turn the heat all the way down. Okay. We're gonna give it a, a little stir. Not stir too much in it. Right. So now we're just gonna leave it for a bit. We're gonna add a little bit of seasoning. Okay. Flaking salt. You have to combine a lot of skills. You have to be patient and fast. Yeah, patient and fast. You know, it's hard to imagine, but our jobs are very similar because for me, Christmas is all about preparation as well. It is? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. I mean, we can't think about getting the toys in time uh, no, for Christmas course, on yeah. Christmas Day. Yeah. We have to start like long before yeah. to make sure that everything is ready and we can just execute with quality. Yeah. Do you like brown potatoes? I have to confess to you, Nikolai, I've never tried them. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, wow. wow, I think we're gonna take it out now. Mmm, what a lovely smell. So oh, we made that together, we wow. We made that together. And I think we got crispy skin, really nice. Now, if we should make the, the sauce, we're gonna take all this fat. Okay. And we're gonna mix it in with the butter okay. and the flour and a bit of cream and salt and pepper. And that's basically the Christmas sauce. Fantastic. Yeah. So we're very close to liftoff, Nikolai. Yeah. I only have one question. What is that? What's your favorite part of the meal? Oh, eating it. Oh. <laughs> it must be. <laughs> so now we made all this lovely traditional Danish Christmas food, which is the most important thing for Christmas. But the second important thing is, of course, the presents. And working for Mask, which is a big company, do you feel like Santa's little helper when we <laughs> <laughs> moving towards well, Christmas? That's, that's one way of putting my job. Uh, definitely there's more pressure during Christmas. And I think it's very similar to your job in the kitchen, to be prepared up front, to really understand what's going to happen in the lounge later, how many guests there are. It's very similar for us to plan up front. And most of all, not to make more promises than what we can keep. 
I think the key is that we execute on time because you don't really need your presents the day after Christmas. No, that would be disappointing. <laughs> and nobody wants the food cold, so uh, should we try the food we made? Your favorite part. Your favorite part, eating the food. <laughs> So uh, we get a bit of everything? Yeah, you get a bit of everything. So the sauce goes with the white potatoes or the duck or how does it work? If you are a real Dane, you put sauce everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I really want to thank you for uh, joining me in the kitchen today. Did anything surprise you about the Danish tradition? Well, ever since I arrived in Denmark, I've been surprised by the sheer amount of potatoes oh, that yeah. you are capable of consuming in this country. But today the biggest surprise was how much sugar gets added, I would say. <laughs> we need the sugar. <laughs> so Nikolai, it's time to correct a great wrong. Yeah. I've never tried a brown potato, your favorite. You have to try now then. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you nervous? <laughs> no, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. It's delicious. You like it? Mm. I hope we can have a small nap after this. Oh, yes. 